Like the video and subscribe to our channel right now and get one week of amazing luck. Even though wildlife is a part of our existence, people occasionally desire to keep these animals in check. If this doesn't occur, these animals might cause unimaginable damage. In today's video, we explore 10 times animals went on a rampage and how things played out. Do you want to know how a non-living animal terrorized a neighborhood for days? Watch till the end. Number 10. Wild Turkey. Gerald is the name of this wild turkey that resides in Oakland, California's Rose Garden. In the early months of the 2020 pandemic, Gerald's popularity in the neighborhood began to wane. Gerald started picking on neighbors who ventured into the Rose Garden as more people emerged from their houses to recover their breath outside. He attacked more than a hundred people, some of whom were able to flee but were still hurt. The worst part was that this animal preyed on youngsters, the elderly, and other weaker demographics. Gerald was a threat not just to the community's physical safety but also to its cohesiveness. There were disputes among the neighbors on how to deal with Gerald, which led to rifts. The neighbor reported a woman to the police for feeding a wild turkey because of the extreme infighting. One group promoted the slaughter of the turkey, while another established an internet petition to save Gerald. In the meantime, in an attempt to resolve the issue, the authorities shuttered the Rose Garden. In the end, authorities decided to catch the animal and take it to a different location. Given that Gerald did not depart without a fight, you may assume that things won't be simple. Eventually, a volunteer posing as an elderly woman took him in. She grabbed him by the throat and handed him over to be relocated. Number 9. Mystery Monkey. Even though Florida is one of the most exotic places in the United States, some creatures are not easily found there. Non-human primates are not easily found in cities, although alligators, palmetto bugs, and manatees are. But there's a good number of wild rhesus macaques in the city now, because of an overzealous captain 200 years ago. One of these macaques visited the densely populated Tampa Bay area in 2010 and was observed to be hanging around. For more than three years, the monkey escaped capture. Around this time, the monkey rose to fame in the community. It was given the moniker Cornelius in memory of a Planet of the Apes chapter. Cornelius's handler announced on his Facebook profile in 2012 that he had lost his freedom. Of course, after a three-hour chase, wildlife officials had him in custody. Cornelius was so at home with the local human population that he even made a friend in an elderly woman. The monkey was hostile nonetheless. Many applauded the monkey for his prolonged avoidance of the law for a while. Cornelius was brought to Wild Things, a 22-acre zoo located in Dade City, Florida. In 2015, he found a partner and became a father. Number 8. Elephant. Osama bin Laden is the name of this elephant. The species, which is Asian, went on a killing rampage for two years before karma finally caught up with it. In Assam, India, Bill Laden killed 27 people between 2004 and 2006. The 45 to 50 year old rogue elephant showed no fear of the firecrackers that were set off to keep it away from the town. It seems sense that they gave it the notorious Osama bin Laden's name. The residents said that this elephant scared them to death because it not only killed people but also ruined their crops. Fortunately, in December 2006, the authorities gave the animal a shoot to kill order. By December 18, the elephant had been located and cornered by the people. A hunter charged his gun with sufficient bullets to take it down and kept firing until the animal dropped down. He ensured he was a few yards away because bin Laden would have run over him. While many villagers were relieved, some activists had doubts. They were worried about the way the animal was brutally killed. They warned that this could lead to a reprisal attack from other elephants. Number 7. Harambe. It's possible that you are familiar with this tale. Even now, it still melts people's hearts. A little boy at the Cincinnati Zoo slipped into a gorilla enclosure in May of 2016. Harambe, an adult male gorilla, approached him at that very moment. 
A zookeeper shot and killed the silverback gorilla out of fear for the boy's safety. Buzz about the incident spread over social media and other platforms. It was debatable whether or not to shoot the animal without giving it a chance. Experts in wildlife and conservation advised the zookeeper to intervene quickly, arguing that the boy would not have survived otherwise. Animal rights activists, on the other hand, felt that humans should also be responsible for protecting the rights of animals, thus they were not impressed with this reasoning. Dick's Out for Harambe, a 2016 meme where dicks stand for firearms, was inspired by the incident. Elon Musk also joined the bandwagon, posting a song called Rip Harambe on SoundCloud. Number 6. Billy the Bad Boy the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office posted in September 2022 about apprehending a criminal by the name of Billy. Billy has been following individuals, scaring the locals, and breaking things that belong to the public. Billy even attacked and pissed on a deputy after he was taken into custody. Billy, however, is a goat, not a human. He was detained until a livestock control officer could pick him up. Many people questioned Billy's owner's identity and the reason behind his abandonment when he went on a rampage outside. People on social media were also interested in learning Billy's detention location following his arrest. What kind of shackles were applied on him? Judging by Billy's actions, it is safe to say that goats need special handcuffs. The sheriff's office stated that Billy was charged with assault, criminal damage, trespassing, and disorderly conduct. Number 5. Owl. Compared to the United States, Europe has more lenient alcohol use rules. Surprisingly, animals are also covered by this regulation. When a dog walker discovered a bird on the road in 2011, he called the Forsheim police. Although birds were frequently seen nearby, this particular one seemed oblivious to the nearby traffic. Officers when rescuers arrived, they saw the brown owl, its eyelids sagging, stumbling over the road. Two empty schnapps bottles were also discovered close by, indicating the bird had consumed too much alcohol. They caught the inebriated bird and took it to a specialist in treating inebriated birds. How does one get trained to treat birds? What does one need to succeed in this line of work? Only hungover people would know, though. Luckily, no one was hurt in the highway assault by this bird. These incidents, regrettably, are not unusual. Number 4. Squirrel. Three squirrels of interest were in custody at midday. Some families weren't as fortunate as others, even though many were occupied enjoying the 2020 holidays with their loved ones. One squirrel unleashed its rage on a neighborhood. In the tiny Welsh village of Buckley, the animal assaulted numerous individuals and left 18 injured. You'll be surprised to hear that the creature in question is actually a little, grey squirrel and not a grizzly bear or an elephant. Despite their small size and cute appearance, grey squirrels have pointed canines. After the malevolent Mogwai from the Gremlins movie from 1983, it was given the nickname Stripes. This little animal would chase cats, adults, kids, and pretty much everything that got in its way. Days passed before an older adult decided she had had enough of the attack. She was aware that she had to take action to safeguard the community and herself. To the relief of many, Corinne purchased a humane trap, and it successfully caught the squirrel. She had been feeding it all summer, so she was able to fool the poor little animal into slipping into the trap. Number 3. Bear Behind Bars A bear named Katya was given a 15-year prison term in 2004 for biting two individuals at a camp in Kazakhstan. Regretfully, there was no holding cell available to house the bear. She was transferred by officials to a male prison colony, where she stayed until her term was served. Katya was given permission to play, swim, and sleep in a designated area. Despite this, Katya continued to collaborate with the staff and other prisoners. In 2019, Katya was set free to dwell in a semi-natural setting at a mini-zoo. Other bears who were males greeted her when she arrived. She discovered the hard way not to vent her rage on people. 
While Katya's sentence is unusual, it is not uncommon for animals to stand trial. There's a popular story of a bear in Italy standing trial. Number 2. Electrified Pigeon Poo In 2013, the Japanese prefecture of Nagano was faced with a singular circumstance. That year, there was a severe traffic bottleneck due to the abrupt failure of 25,000 traffic lights. Because of the widespread pandemonium it caused, the incident appeared to be a well-planned terrorist strike. However, it was not terrorism at all. The blackout was caused by a mound of pigeon excrement more than three feet high that blanketed the insulator of a nearby power plant. Thankfully, traffic was directed by officials. With the exception of several employees who had to clean up the power plant, the situation was much reduced. It is considered a sign of good luck if a pigeon relieves itself on you in Japan. While this is an exciting, fun fact, the people of Nagano disagree after the blackout incident. Bird poo has been an issue for electric companies since the early 1900s. Number 1. The Champawat Tiger The Champawat Tiger was a female Bengal tiger responsible for an estimated 436 deaths in Nepal and the Kumaon Division of India, during the last years of the 19th century and the first years of the 20th century. She was shot and killed in 1907 by the 31-year-old Jim Corbett. The Champawat tiger began her attacks in the village Rupal in western Nepal. Hunters were sent in to kill the tiger, but she managed to evade them and continued to hunt. The number of fatalities became so high that the Nepalese army was called in. Despite failing to capture or kill the tiger, soldiers organized a massive beat and managed to force the tiger to abandon her territory and drive her across the border into India where she continued her killing activities in the Kumaon district.